Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. What are you working on, dude? I'm working out. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> no, I should. And then, zoom. Okay, what I'm working on? I'm working on very interesting stuff. <laughs> um, I, I got here, I'm in the Blender Institute, I got here a month ago to work on uh, Tears of Tear in 4K. Yeah. And it's actually not as exciting as it looks. This is the, the farm software we have. <laughs> it's just a bunch of files and files and files. And I don't know if you can get some of the, the render times here. If you see some of them here, look at this guy, for example, 71C. It's six hours average, six hours, <laughs> and max estimate two days. Um, some renders are even like a day. They take a day for one frame. That, that's 4K, you don't want to do 4K. And Blender didn't want it to do 4K, but now it can do 4K pretty decently. It, uh, it got a lot of additions, so it's, it's actually worth it that we have um, this project. It's really important. So it's very nice. Besides working on this, in the evenings, I'm working on a secret project that you can see if you get the Blender network. This is um, work in progress. This is how the new Blender network is, is looking, it's pretty much uh, the same it used to be, the, the one we have right now, but it has some new additions. Yes, you can have um, your own gallery right there, you don't have to, to do all this weird stuff that you had to before. So yeah, I'm working on the, on the Blender network too as a, as a part uh, project right now, on the design, all this stuff, all this code and uh, CSS and I learn less, which is awesome. And I have a, a script running that is compiling. <laughs> we are working on the Blender network together with Francesco and it's, it's been quite fun. Then we have, after this, we're going to release this new website, this new design on uh, the next week. And after that, we have another special project going on related to that, but we can't talk about it yet super secret and that's it and we also we also if you know Caminandes you probably know this guy and this and this and these three faces that made the first the first Caminandes episode and we already have this nice document that shows some of the um, the characters of a new upcoming episode that we have in mind and we even have stuff and a storyboard and we have all that is needed right now to, to make it happen but we need time or money of course <laughs> so we'll find ways to make this happen happen ha happen yeah uh, the team behind this new pro this new episode is the same we are with Francesco and Bjorn and we hope to, to make it happen soon. Soon. <laughs> okay, cool. So what is your take on Blender Future? What is my take on Blender Future? Yeah, where do you think it's heading? Blender is the future. Where do you think I, it, it is heading? Yeah. Forward! Yeah! <laughs> Going forward, dude, is... <laughs> Let me tell you, it's going forward. It's getting so much better by the release, dude. It's, it's like, it's like, like, uh, it's, it's going really well. Um, it's getting used in more and more and more studios and that's the most important part because it makes it better. It makes more people to report bugs, real bugs, production bugs. But it's getting so much better, and especially with the NetBlender network. It's, it's a great way to connect um, the, the studios and the developers and the actual users and the trainers and everything in one big hub. So it's, it's, it's going to be awesome, and especially with the upcoming Gooseberry project. The movie, the feature, the super long 
awesome project. And on the technical side, I think the future of Blender is, is on the, the dependency graph, big change, allowing uh, more complex setups so we can uh, get it bigger, bigger, bigger scenes. Like most, like the idea of, of Sintel was to have a thousand warriors running down the hill and that's not possible. Right now you have, uh, well, you can have like big crowds, but it's, it's not very flexible and uh, many, many rigging things are not possible, like duplicating one group, you can't do it right now, it's, it's, it's too complicated to, to make it happen. And that's a dependency graph, that's one of the biggest, biggest things that are going to happen in Blender 2.7, which is going to break everything and it's a good thing because we need to break things in order to get them together again. Already the 4K project improved a lot in, 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 in speed and uh, loading files and, and dealing with big footage. So I think that that's very important to get it used by... Because you, of course you can do an HD movie, but you can do it at anywhere. But a 4K movie or like uh, those big files that the actual studios use is, is um, another thing. And now Blender can handle it in 2.67. Anybody can put their hands on the, f the very, very latest development. For example, um, sometimes people think that in open projects like Big Bunny, Intel, or Mango, that we are using a secret version that we only, uh, only we have. And it's not like that, actually. The developers here are working on Blender, but that Blender version is on the server online. So. When they add something for us, they add it for the community itself. So we, we don't, it's not that we have an internal uh, way to update Blender. It's we are actually using the same Blender that you can get online. So um, everybody can get it and everybody can get the new stuff. For following what's new is the best is to, to either read the logs, which is a lot, or just fix the documentation. Hello, Tom. Say, hola, Portugal. Hola Portugal! Yay. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it's a... Uh, Ronaldo! A, uh, Ronaldo. <laughs> ah, Ronaldo, yeah. Messi! Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to say now? We say one, two, three. Hola Portugal! Hola! Hola! hola. hola. Uh, it has an accent. Uh, what, do you say? what is it? Hola or hola? Hola! Hola, hola Portugal! With a smiley face. So, hola Portugal! Hola Portugal! Uh, uh, Other? Ah, uh, uh, muito obrigado! Yay! <laughs> yeah! Uh, yeah.